driver's name, um, though. There was at least a final stage of a cup race. Okay. I don't really remember anything before that. Um, it was boring. It was up until awful. the final stage. Yeah, the final it was stage was also awful. I don't. I didn't think the final stage was awful, but it wasn't fantastic. Um, I guess. It, the last 40 laps of the race were entertaining as all hell. I guess. Yeah, I mean... It did nothing for me. Well, yeah, you also hate super speedway racing. Well, it's with disheartening. Everything about this is disheartening. The only thing that brought people back to watch a race is bullshit pack racing. I am so sick. Okay, hang on. I have to go on this rant. I've been thinking oh, about this hell. for like three days now, and I have to get it off my chest. Here's the thing. The amount of crap I have read on on Reddit and Twitter and, and wherever about how much more entertaining 15, lo- 15 rows of 2x2 two two for 40 laps was than watching the drivers drive the shit out of these cars at, at on the, the cheese grater asphalt. The amount of that I have seen just reminds me over and over and over again that the people who are interested in this kind of thing are not race fans, by and large. And to be honest, if that's what it takes to get people in the seats and watching on TV, we are headed in the wrong path. And it is disheartening. Um... I mean, you're not wrong, but that been nothing's changed in the past twenty years. For being completely honest. So the solution was add more of it, make it worse. At least back when it was just four plate races, it was like okay, it was it was four. But now we've done it to an intermediate. So now it's like okay, why don't we do this to Texas? Why don't we do this to like any other track that gets boring racing for a minute? It's um. Well, okay. So here's my opinion on New Atlanta. Um, yes, it is worse than the repave. They were gonna or than the um the old Atlanta. They were gonna have to repave it anyway. Repave was absolutely gonna fucking suck donkey dick. Um it would be one groove around the bottom. Not saying super speedway was the option or was the right option. But as far as immediate entertainment and immediate, like, I, I don't know. I put, uh, I guess, a last-ditch effort to put butts in the seats. This is what they got. Um, now, I think when the track wears, which Atlanta wears quick, I think it will be better. And I think we will have a tolerable racing product. And as Dale a junior speedway seemed, or as an intermediate? That's what I don't know. I don't know if it'll be in a super speedway or an intermediate. It could be. I think either way, it will be, like I said, tolerable. Um, that's what I don't know. I think it could go either way as far as what kind of racing product or what kind of uh, package we see there. Because it, it all depends on the amount of off-throttle time you know, it you end up having to, I mean, because they're already, like, having to breathe the throttle in a pack. Um, so, you know, we'll see what happens, you know, here in a, I mean, literally give it a year or two, and we'll, we'll really have our answer. I mean, we'll see. I've seen a lot of people even talking about going ahead and repaving it again when it gets to this i don't think that's an option a realistic oh no that's option. absolutely not gonna fucking happen no but <laughs> i i can kind of see it in my mind no, they're not they no remember fucking talking remember um talking I, to uh what's his name um what was it carter uh, in the parking lot and he was talking about how they spent double what they were supposed to they're not gonna go do that again yeah but they wouldn't have to reconfigure it again yeah, I know, but they're not going to fucking put that money back into it. Like, Look, here's the only thing is, the only thing is, I don't think it's likely. I don't think it's likely, but... No, they're not. You're reading fucking dumbasses on Reddit who don't know what the fuck they're talking about, who thought this was a good race anyway. But, <laughs> if if the attendance falls off because it sucks all of a sudden, I mean... I there are a that. fuck ton of people at this race. I know, that's why I'm so fucking mad. Oh. 
Like, I'm sorry. The fucking fall race or the summer race in 2021 was like 18 times better than this race. I'm sorry. I'm so sick of what in I don't your understand. Opinion. No, it's not my opinion. We didn't do anything for 60% of this race. Yeah, no, that is, uh, and that that's one thing. Super speedway races, no reason they need to be 400 or 500 miles, unless it's the Daytona 500. Yeah. No reason why they should be 400, because right? we don't fucking do anything. We dick around. But that's we, what I really don't understand. It's all about everyone who likes this, who like just likes this kind of racing. I'll put it that way. Yeah. It's all because they're really close and it's exciting. Well, I'm, I don't care how it's close not they exciting. are. I don't care how close they <laughs> yeah. are. Michael Waltrip, that wasn't exciting. No, it wasn't. It was not exciting. You could, like I said, you could have. Here's what they need to do. They're going to have two of these Atlanta races, put them double header weekend, make them both a hundred laps. Put them on the same day, one day, I, one night. Yeah, I could get behind that. Put them in the middle of fucking like May or June or April. That way it's not 4,000 degrees or 12 degrees. And yeah, and there you go. You have you have your, there you go. Big, your Atlanta extravaganza of Super Speed where you get 200 laps of it. Yeah. And they're going to, that'll be enough. Don't go no stage cautions either just run them through and then you know let them rip i think i think that's the best solution here because i mean it it is like i've i'm growing to not like super speedway really that much either and here's and that's a lot of the reason i a lot of the problem i have with it is it's just too fucking long because yeah. i mean like yeah like you said we're not we this is a the part this was the quintessential this is like if someone wants to argue why super racing is not good this is exactly it because we sat around for the first two stages did nothing and except for the last two laps of the stage kind of and then the last stage you know it was a normal super superior race we saw a couple wrecks now i will say no one did anything stupid that was positive, yes. That No one did anything stupid. And before anyone says Ross Chastain did something stupid, what Ross Chastain did was not stupid. Ross is not dumb. Nothing Ross has done is dumb. It's just the simple fact that he doesn't give a fuck. That's what it is. I don't um, think that move was got was down to not giving a fuck. I think. Oh um, no, no, I will get. It. You want to go ahead and talk about that? No, I want to. I want to bring up one more thing. Okay, it's the same thing. the The driver's not doing anything in the first two stages. Everyone wants to jump down the driver's throat about it, and that's really stupid. It's the same complaint that happened about the Super Bowl at the end when the Chiefs just ran out the clock and didn't do anything interesting for the last yeah. two minutes of the game. You're not going to do anything to lessen your chance of winning that's dumb here's the thing is we are quick to praise drivers for doing something smart when it's entertaining but if it's not entertaining it's it's a bad thing it's it's fucking hypocrisy at its finest it is we should be praising these drivers for not doing anything in the first stage we should be praising them for you know doing whatever in this what taking a knee or whatever not running out the clock essentially in the super bowl like i mean because it's sports at its finest it's doing what you have to do it's strategically you know playing your hand favor like i mean is it's it's sports at its finest and yeah, yeah it's not entertaining but what you got to do it's the smart thing to do by and large we get so here's the problem here's part of the problem is so many people consume sports through highlight reels yeah and i get it you don't everybody doesn't have time to sit there and watch everything and i i get that but the problem is is when you actually sit down and watch sports there's a lot of strategy and not everything is entertaining that is just the way it is yeah I don't know how many football games I've watched where the final score was 35 to 10 or whatever. Like that's just how it is. There's a blowout sometimes in yeah. racing, a lot of racing, actually it's a blowout. That's just kind of the nature of it, except super speedways, obviously. Well, I guess you could argue the last two Atlanta races were blowouts to state, you know, sweep the stages and win. 
I would count that as a blowout. Um, so I think there's just a disconnect. People don't, people think they want to watch sports until they actually watch sports. And then they realize, oh, this isn't really my thing. Yeah. Well, I guess they don't realize that. They're like, oh, no, this needs to change to what my ideal is of it. <laughs> exactly.